Richard Janice, all the way from Radio, while in London, and uh, we're showing off the workhorse over here. And the workhorse, as you probably just heard, that was a lot of fun. This is uh, one of the guys here over at Tashur. This is his uh, Les Paul, which is way too much fun. I have this thing plugged in to the power pre. The power pre is then running into the ecstasy. The ecstasy is this effects device, which is then going into a tri mode, the tri mode distortion, the tube distortion pedal. So that's coming from here into here, back over here. Then we're into the phaser, and you could hear me adjusting the phase on that so you could hear all the different tones I was creating. I was creating all kinds of really interesting, fun tones, kind of reminiscent of Boston and all kinds of neat sounds. Then we were going through the ecstasy, sorry, the X amp, and we were not using the X amp, we were just, it's just here, and then into the JDX, and that was the one that was giving us the guitar amp simulation. So I've got, for example, five modules here. I could turn on all these modules at the same time or turn them all off. And so I was just mixing those sounds. And that's the fabulous thing about this workhorse, is it, it's not so much just a rack anymore, it's a creative tool. It's designed to create new sounds, to find new sounds. Not just, you know, you're not just using a compressor anymore, you're not just using a preamp anymore. You're actually mixing and matching and, and some are running in series, some are running in parallel. And the mixer section allows you to mix up how much of each one you want to use, combinations, whatever it is. So it's a really, really cool device to do all that kind of stuff. Um, I think that you're going to find that the uh, the musician today, the recording engineer musician, they're at home, they're recording, they've got uh, Pro Tools and they might have, uh, you know, Logic or something like that. They're working with that, they're working within that environment, they want to reach out, get into the analog world, be able to experiment, try new things. So we're all about that. Um, show you some of these modules, I'll try to do it without breaking this guitar. Um, for example, We've got here uh, the Power Pre. This is a fantastic uh, mic preamplifier. It's 100% discrete. There's no SMTs, there's no chips, none of that stuff like a lot of people do today because of course it's a lot cheaper. But you know, everyone knows when you have discrete components, it just sounds better. It's fatter sounding. This thing is a, not going to be your mama's preamplifier. This is absolutely designed for personality. So um, it's really easy to use. In fact, we can do that by simply disconnecting. We have a microphone here, a trusty Shure SM58. I will just turn this on and you'll see how this works here. So I go over to the mixer section, I turn my master on, I turn the channel on, and then I bring up the volume. Here we go, just as simple as that. Hey, hey, and you can hear, it's just super clean, super quiet, um, really easy to use. I've got a three position EQ, so a little bit of bottom end if I want. Hey, hey lit flat or linear in the middle, hey, hey, and then of course I can bring a little top end like that. It's really easy to use. I can back down the channel here and drive this really loud. And you'll notice that even when it's being driven really loud, right into the red, it's still clean. Hey, hey, but it's got that edge to it. Well, that's got to do with that uh, Hammond broadcast transformer that we've got in there. It's got that real nice warmth to it. It's just fat and way too much fun. And of course, it's not that expensive. It's affordable. We didn't make it really crazy. We should charge more. In fact, we may have to because, um, well, because I need a beach house. Anyway, um, that's not the point. That's not why we're here today. We're here to tell you about some of these fun toys. So, of course, you've got the Power Pre here. That has a nice little roll-off filter on it. Some EQ, easy to use, recessed switch for 48 volt phantom so I don't make any mistakes. Um, got a guitar instrument input. That's what we were plugging in earlier. Oh, and this level control, this gain control, is actually not an attenuator like everyone else. This is actually a gain control that um, reduces both the background noise and the sensitivity at the same time. So it attenuates and drives gain at the same time. There's two pots, two different pots glued together. and It's kind of a funky way of doing things, but it means that your recording is going to be quiet all the time. We think that's a good thing especially with digital recording today, everything's so quiet. Well, that preamp is designed to sound good, yet be quiet. Next is the ecstasy. You heard that earlier with this fuzz distortion thing. I can do the same effect, actually, and bring it on for voice here. So if I just turn channel one off, turn channel two on, you can hear that distortion. 
I'm going to back that down a bit because that's a lot of distortion. We can turn down this, make that sound a little bit fuzzy like that. Maybe make it a bit more fuzzy. Hey, 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 you can hear that fuzz happening. Hey, hey, hey. And then I can actually mix the two together, the dry sound with the distorted sound. Hey, 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 hey. And I can just add a little bit of the edge to my voice. Hey, hey, you can hear that like that. So that's a lot of fun. And then from there, I can go to the phase adjustment tool. And I can turn that on just by going to this guy. You can hear this channel. Hey, hey, bring that in together. And then, of course, I can phase adjust. Hey, 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 hey. And you can hear me start to mess around with those two. And come up with a sound using it kind of like an EQ. Uh, the phaser is really designed uh, to time align two sources. Like, for example, if you've got a, um, two microphones in an XY, you can actually um, uh, put them in focus. It's kind of like binoculars and getting them in focus. Once you get this phaser going, you'll never go back. It's just way too much fun. Great fun on guitar, great fun on kick drum, that kind of thing. Next to that, we have uh, the X-Amp. This is a reamping box. So from your recorder, you come into the X-Amp. From the X-Amp, you've got two outputs. So I can connect to two guitar amplifiers, adjust the volume right here, and I can be reamping all day long. All day long. Once you start reamping, of course, you will never sleep because it's way too much fun. So you probably don't want to buy one of those. It's probably not a good thing, you know, not to, you know, not a good thing. Next to that um, is the guitar amp simulator. So this is called the JDX, and this is kind of cool because you can plug a pedal right into the input here, and then you can play right in it to record. So you can record quietly using the headphone out on the workhorse. There's two headphones here. And that way you can be recording at night because you're not going to sleep anyway. You'll be playing all the time. So since you're not sleeping, you might as well record at night. And, you know, that's it. It's just fun, fun, fun. There's tons of modules. So there you go. Um, enjoy it. I hope you have fun if you get your workhorse.